I, 27M, LL start this off by saying my wedding is scheduled for April because my fiancé, 25F, has always dreamed of a spring wedding. And I really like the idea too. I have an older brother though, 30M. And last Saturday I was called over to my parents' house to talk about something. But they refused to tell me what until I got there. They then sat me down with my brother and told me that my brother wants to use my wedding as the perfect day for him to propose to his girlfriend. I was instantly mad and told them absolutely not, but they ganged up on me. I ended up so enraged to the point that I, one man, somehow backed all three of them into a corner. I told them that if they want to do this, then not only will they all be uninvited, but I'll also cut off the financial support I've been giving monthly, since they paid to have my golden child brother go through college by taking out a second mortgage. I landed a decently high-paying job and have been sending $500 to my parents monthly to help ease their mortgage. And I didn't ask for a stake in the ownership of their house, either because I really don't want it. It was entirely goodwill. And I can cut it off at any time. I left without speaking anything more to them. But my brother came to my home the next day to yell at me that I ruined his big chance because now our parents are siding with me and saying they'll evict him if he tries to propose at my wedding. He said I was financially blackmailing our parents and that he just wanted a good chance to propose because he was afraid his girlfriend might leave him soon. I said that was his problem, not mine. Because my wedding day is not about him. And if he tries to propose at my wedding, I will have him thrown out. That's not a maybe, but a definite. And I doubt his girlfriend would appreciate her proposal followed up with being tossed out by a bouncer. He yelled a few choice words at me, then went crying to our only surviving grandparent. Our maternal grandmother. And she called to try and ream me over the phone. No surprise my brother heavily embellished a version of the story he told her. But she still sided with him after I gave her the real story. She tried to hold her ground, but the verbal backlash I ended up giving her left her crying. That got back to my parents, who were pissed at me for taking things so far. But I told them I only went that far because I had to when they were all trying to get me to let my brother use my wedding as his springboard for a proposal. They ended up agreeing with me, but still stated they feel like I'm crass. And my brother showed up at my home again to scream at me that I'm an idiot and I hope I'm happy with myself for not allowing him the opportunity. My fiancé knows what my brother tried to do. And she's very angry about it. She's almost ready to have him uninvited if he pursues this any further. Normally I have a very mild temper. But when it comes to certain people like my brother, parents, and grandmother, I can easily get short with them because of all the past favoritism. My grandmother especially. She always sided with my brother and believed his lies no matter what he did. She's the biggest reason my parents favored my brother too. She kept trying to convince me over the phone to let my brother propose at my wedding, but I ended up losing it on her. I ended up speaking with my brother again and threatened to tell his girlfriend if he was still intending to propose at my wedding without permission. He took it poorly and called me an awful person. So I pointed out that my wedding isn't about him. Our parents were there for this and they backed me up. I think my brother did a double take when they did that. My dad pointed out that he'd raised my brother wrong and that was on him. So from now on my brother was to show them real respect and they wanted to get an official lease drawn up for him to pay proper rent and utilities. He was only paying them $300 a month without contributing to any utilities or food. And if he doesn't want to pay, he can move out and they'll rent his room to someone else. My brother turned to our mom for help. But she just agreed with dad. He looked like he was having a conniption and then left the house. He came back a couple of hours later, but spoke to no one and locked himself in his room. Two days later my brother announced he was moving in with grandma because she invited him. And our parents basically told him that if he wants to live with her, then to go ahead. My brother responded to this by saying we all hate him for just wanting to propose to his girlfriend. My parents pointed out that it's not that he wanted to propose, but where he wanted to do it. And he'd get no support for it. He's refusing to talk to our parents now. My grandmother did try to call me again. But it ended up with me telling her that my brother will not be allowed to propose at my wedding, plain and simple. So he can get over it, or not come. And the same goes for her. I ended up calling her out on her favoritism towards my brother since we were kids. Which she tried to deny at first, but couldn't keep doing so because of how much I'd pointed out. She ended up crying again while I told her that if she keeps trying to insist on this, then she won't be coming to my wedding. She begged me not to rescind her invitation. 
but still said she doesn't understand why I couldn't let my brother have his way before ending the call. My fiancé is 100% on my side and is fully ready to remove my brother and grandmother from the wedding. My grandmother hasn't called again. And she's not talking to my parents either. My guess is my brother went crying to her again to tell her mommy and daddy weren't enabling him anymore. So she offered for him to move in with her. But there's literally nothing she can do to sway me. And I think my last conversation with her made her realize that. I didn't wish to tell my brother's GF. But she called me up on a Saturday about my Reddit post. She realized it might be me with the way I described my brother and grandmother. So yeah, now she knows. She ended up tearing my brother a new crap. And he still tried to justify himself to her. That's when she told him they were through and cut all contact with him. My brother of course blamed me. Even though his girlfriend said that she's been ready to leave him for a while now, and if he'd tried to propose, no matter where she'd have told him no. So that's it. My brother showed up at my place one more time to have a fit and said he is boycotting my wedding. He actually thought he had leverage that he and grandma won't go. I said I wouldn't miss him and that he's in his 30s now and needs to grow up. Our parents have cut the umbilical and are no longer supporting him. And they're already repainting his room to rent it to someone else. And they plan on renting out my old bedroom as well because they need the money after the financial hole he left them in after dropping out of college just to mooch off them for a while and then get a degree with online college later. And then barely paying any rent while also making them pay for his food and utilities despite having a good paying job. They spent the world on him and he wasn't the least bit grateful. That made my brother just shut down and leave. And since then we've not heard a peep out of him. That's everything that's happened. P.S. Yes, I have very good security hired for the wedding. And they'll toss my brother out like bouncers in a heartbeat. Wow. Well, your grandmother will learn as well. I'm guessing he won't pay her and will expect her to cook and clean for him. I'm glad your parents finally smartened up and good for you for holding firm. OP. My brother oddly enough while entitled is not uncleanly. He cleans up after himself. That's something my grandmother drilled into us both when we used to visit her. He did blame his messes on me a few times and grandma believed him. But he couldn't do that anymore when I stopped visiting and he kept going. I'm afraid I'm going to lose my girlfriend and I'm going to propose to her are two phrases that, if combined, spell disaster. My sister's ex had that thought process. Two years after the engagement, where nothing changed, there were no wedding plans, ideas or discussions, etc., sister left. X broke down and couldn't work out why. He's now effectively pushed away the majority of his friends with his behavior, put up a social media post asking people not to pick sides, and ended up being asked to shut up or leave a dinner with friends when he wouldn't stop complaining about my sister and how she wasn't there. It's sad to see because he was a part of our lives for several years, but now he's someone I would cross the road to avoid. Your brother sounds like he is 30 going on 13. What a spoiled and entitled brat. The surprising thing is it took this long for his GF to see your brother for what he is. OP. No she's seen him for what he was for a while. But anytime she was ready to break up with him, he'd get pitiful and become a crybaby. Then try to buy her love with gifts. She wanted out for some time, but just couldn't find a good way to end it. At least that's what she said. But personally, if I were her, I would've just broken up with him in a phone call long ago and then blocked him.